a few years ago, um, when when I think maybe 2013, Audicad 2013 and 2014 came out, you know, there was a lot of talk in the industry about, you know, how can AutoCAD actually get better? I mean, AutoCAD has been AutoCAD since, you know, the beginning of time. And, uh, you know, Autodesk has, has come to the party and they've actually, you know, put new things in. You know, there was parametrics that came in and so on and so forth. And um, even the 3D got a bit better. You know, 3D was really, you know, quite difficult to use in AutoCAD. But then they, they made it very, very easy, just like, you know, push, pull, you know, things like that. And what they've done now in 2020, they've actually improved it a little bit more. And this time, what I'm going to show you is particularly in the block area or insertion of blocks. So we still have our tool palettes, as you can see on the right hand side over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert some blocks from the tool palettes by dragging and dropping it in. So let's go put a toilet in, a door and then some vehicles. Now, um, if I accidentally happen to delete it, you know what happens with blocks that are inserted into drawings. They are saved in your inside the drawing. So to get those drawings back or these blocks back, select the insert button and then you'll see my three little blocks that I've inserted. Now, additional to 2019, you'll see that I've got recent blocks here. So, and also blocks from other drawings. So the, the format's changed a little bit, but let's just see what recent blocks is. Select recent blocks. It brings up this new dial or, or palette over here where I can go and insert recent blocks that I've created. Now I can go and choose any of those. For instance, if my tool palette had to disappear, and I know these are the recent ones, and I can just go select it and then drag it into, into this. Now it's asking me to redefine the block because it's already inserted into this block. So I can say redefine block if I change it and insert it. So there we go, recent. You can also see what blocks are currently sitting in the drawing and also navigate to other blocks by going off and searching for it on your local hard drive. When inserting blocks, you automatically at the bottom here, if you can't see it, just uh, select the little arrow at the bottom. You're, you've got your insertion point, scale, rotation, repeat placement. So you can just keep on replacing it instead of having to come back to the window here, selecting the block you've just selected and dragging it in. You also have the option to explode. So they really have made it very easy to be able to insert blocks uh, from this new this new uh, location that they've got. Now here comes the fun part. Now normally what happens when you open up a new drawing, you'll you'll see that uh, you know I'll go to insert, and it doesn't have any of the blocks there. But the nice thing about this recent blocks is is that it actually you're able to go select blocks that you've recently inserted. So if, if you're in the same session of AutoCAD and you've opened up 25, 30, 40 drawings and you think, oh, you know, that first drawing I had, I, I needed to put, put one of the blocks that I've got in there. Just go to your recent blocks, select it, and you're able then to go and insert it into this new drawing instead of having to go file search for it through your, through your, uh, your, your, your history, or, sorry, your, your computer or your, your, your server or on the tool palettes as well. So once again, you know, AutoCAD, surprise, surprise. Uh, thank you very much for watching.